Uh, let's start right at the top, Ace Speedway. Ace Speedway is a racetrack in North Carolina. And it's in the news because it has been defying the orders of Governor Cooper mm. to uh, limit their spectators to 25, I believe it's 25 spectators per event. They've had a couple of races now, three or, or, or maybe even more, where they've had around a guesstimation of 4,000 spectators at each event. Um, they have tried to pose as a peaceful protest um, to circumvent the, the rules. Um, they've had quite a uh, back and forth uh, between the, 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 between Governor Cooper and the, uh, the, the sheriff. There's other um local uh officials uh that are that are either you know in support of ace uh it's been a really interesting and polarizing sort of uh sort of a uh event over the last several weeks that's happened here in North Carolina and that has put a big spotlight on the actual races that are happening at ace speedway while um, while that'll be you know it'll be fun and interesting I think to see how uh, the the back and forth and the bit of tug of war goes between a Speedway and the governor and, and the sheriff sort of caught in the middle, um, it did it did it did shine a spotlight on the recent Cars Tour event, and our driver Josh Berry has been racing in the Cars Tour for uh, a long time, a lot of wins. Uh, champion, I think, in 2007. Uh, another fellow that's been racing in that series who's also won the championship in the last two years, Bobby McCarty. Uh, Bobby's an ag aggressive driver and um, a very good driver. He's with a great team, got a lot of speed, and uh, always a guy that, you know, Josh and you know has to compete with or is going to have to compete with at some point in the evening uh, for the race win. So they got into a bit of a dust up, and in the first, uh, so Josh started a, a mid pack somewhere around 16th, 13th, something like that. Didn't qualify well. I think McCarty sat on the front, uh, sat on the pole, front row, somewhere like that, and he led the uh, majority of the race. had had pretty much the race in control the whole time. Josh had drove up to second place, and a caution came out, competition caution. And they're going to have a restart with about 45 laps to go. So the restart happens with Josh on the outside and Bobby on the inside, and they go down into turn three. And from sem several uh, spectators' point of view, uh, videos and so forth, it just looks like that Bobby missed the corner. And we're off and racing yet again. Barry, McCarty, side by side out of turn number two. And look at this, the intensity picks up from, well, everywhere. Oh, oh. trouble for Josh Barry. Spins it around, backs it into the Superior Trailer restart zone, and the caution flag is out here at A Speedway. And so it seems like that from very uh, various points of perspective, whether it's fan videos and and or just the the tar, the Cars Tour um, broadcast itself, that Bobby didn't go, Bobby didn't get into turn three the same way that he had, or the or the way that you would expect him to go into the turn. He missed the corner, and uh, J Josh is on his outside. You know, Josh, you know, Bobby and Josh are almost door to door. And contact was made. It sent Josh into the outside wall hard enough to really, really hurt the car. Uh, but Josh was able to continue on in the race. So, Josh, um, you know, Josh has had a run in with Bobby in the past and other drivers have as well. And, um, at motor mile speedway, uh, in 2019, Josh had this, a similar situation happen where he had control of the race led pretty much the, the majority of the laps driving away to a win late race. Yellow comes out to set up a green white checkered. Barry going to use up Bobby McCarty in turn number one. Does he repay the favor? Barry's able to keep him on his outside. The crossover to the white flag. McCarty to the bottom. 
Josh Berry see no challengers all night. Oh. Contact up the track and around goes Josh Berry down in front of the field, and we will do it again. Bobby gets the opportunity to get underneath Josh and drove down in the corner and dumped Josh. Josh gave him plenty of room. Bobby missed the corner, drove into the door of, the, of, of Josh's car and spun him out. Um, and, the, and I can put that blame on Bobby because this is a consistent sort of habit that Bobby has. And I'll, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to read from some comments from the race winner at Ace Speedway. Ryan Millington. Ryan Millington. So, Ryan Millington, he, get, he wins the race, and, and he's asked in victory lane about, uh, about the incident with Josh Berry and, and Bobby. And he goes, look, Bobby McCarty is a great race car driver, and he wins a lot of races, but it seems like every three or four races, guys are racing him for the win, and they wreck off of him. Mm. He needs to do something different because he has a lot of people pissed off. Mm. And so, and Josh even said after this race at Ace – this past weekend that a majority of the garage either came up to him personally or reached out to him via text to support what he had done. This has all sort of been boiling over and building up, right? It's not just Josh getting, getting dumped at motor mile last year. It's other events and other things going on that sort of put this cloud or this, this, per, this perception of Bobby being a, a bit dirty, too aggressive. Then, you know, they have the accident in the middle part of the race um, where it looks like Bobby didn't do a good job of trying to get down in the corner the right way. Ended up driving in there and driving up and, and running Josh into the fence. So, Josh is five laps down. Bobby is winning the race, coming up on about five laps to go. Bobby's going to win. Um, Millington is, is, is fading. And even said in his post race that he had he had settled for second. Bobby, uh, Josh is making it real hard for Bobby to get around him, almost daring him to dump him again, daring him to run over Josh's car again. So Bobby finally goes to the outside or goes to the inside of Josh into turn three. Josh maneuvers around behind Bobby's car, stands in the gas. Spins Bobby down the front straightaway into the inside wall. Oh, and look at this. Half an hour ago, these two were duking it out for the lead. Oh, oh, Josh Berry's not very happy with Bobby McCarty right now. <laughs> he is not very happy, and this might cost Bobby McCarty a race. Josh Berry is throwing the block on McCarty, and this might not end well for either one of them. Oh, you called it, Tony. Mm. Josh Berry letting Bobby McCarty know he's there he not goes. happy. And Berry just took McCarty out of the lead. Mill Millington goes on to, to win the race. Bobby uh, gets out of his car, declines interview. Uh, I think he did give some post-race comments to, to a few people afterwards, but initially to the broadcast, he, he, he declined interview. Um, and Josh was parked uh, by the officials. So Josh intentionally – uh, went out there and wrecked Bobby at the end of that race. My, my initial reaction, I was texting back and forth with LW, who is me and LW. This is our, this is our baby, this late model program. LW um, Miller. Yep. LW Miller is my sister's husband. And we're sort of, you know, we're sort of brothers in arms when it comes to this, this late model stock program We're we're partners and he's been a big part of it for many, many years. And so, I'm texting him and I said, I think uh, I just started seeing the glimpse of Josh's car out in front of the leaders. And I said, Josh is the next car to get lapped. And then LW said, Josh won't do anything. And I was like, man, you don't think. Cause I really felt like enough was enough at that point. I had had, I had had enough and I was hoping that Josh would send a message. Mm. You know? And what is that message? What did I hope Josh would do? I didn't even, I didn't even know that in my own mind. <laughs> um, but you want, jo you want Josh to stand up to anything like that, you know, and you have to. When it, when, on the racetrack, if you let guys push you around over and over and over, and if it's particularly the same person, 
they're going to continue that every time they get around you. And they're going to take advantage of that kindness or whatever you want, however you want. They're going to take advantage of that part of your personality. And it's, it's one thing if Josh, if Josh is just going out there and dumping people for no reason at all. Now that's, that's not okay. But what Josh is doing in this situation in my mind was putting his foot down and Josh even admitted it. And I told Josh after the race, I said, you hate, you hate that it has to come to that. You don't want to be that guy. You don't want to have to do that to anybody, but sometimes you don't have a choice. Sometimes you're put in the position of, I'm just going to keep allowing Bobby McCarty to, to, to run over me, to, to, to force me offline into the fence, to, to take advantage of me every time we're around each other. It's already, in my opinion, cost Josh the last two championships, uh, the spin and the wreck at Motor Mile. That right there, Josh would have won the championship easily had Bobby not been so aggressive at certain points in the season because I feel like that Bobby knew that was probably the only way he was going to beat Josh. He, he didn't have the speed that, that, the, that the 88 car had. And at this point, I don't know that he still has it. So you're saying it cost Josh championships. Did Bobby win them? Did, yes. did Bob, Bobby won the champion. Okay. Now I'm got, getting a better understanding of kind of the feud here, the boiling yeah. up. Got it. Absolutely. So, you know, I'm, I didn't want to bring Josh on here on the show. And, you know, it's going to be one-sided enough with just me talking about it as the owner of Josh's car. I didn't want to bring Josh on the show and, and continue to, to gang up on Bobby. Um, but I have an opinion and I have a podcast and, I, and I, <laughs> I'm going to share that opinion. Um, if anything, it would be fair to have them both on the show to be able to give Bobby the opportunity to speak uh, his, his opinion. And, I think Matthew, you've you've read a lot of the comments that yes. Bobby has has had it since the post race, and you can probably share maybe where he's coming from after all this is uh, after all this has happened. Yeah, I was actually very surprised uh, yesterday. Um, Speed51.com had both Bobby and then later on Josh on their program morning bull ring, and um, you know I expected Bobby to have a little vigor and have a little uh, salt to his. Uh, his quotes, especially after hearing Josh, you know, admit to that it was on purpose and uh, he didn't, he handled it pretty classy. I have to give uh, Bobby that. And um, you know, saying that he feels it's over. Well, what did he Josh say? Said, uh, that he thinks it's over and that Josh okay. did what he had to do um, and that he's not going to further anything. So, and um, you know, the, McCarty's guys, he's a little rough on the racetrack. We've all seen it in the past few years, but off the racetrack, he, he is a very admirable um, you know, human being, it seems, and, and carries himself well, as does Josh. I mean, this is like you said, this is so out of Josh Berry's character. Yeah. And that's why I was so surprised that he got suspended for it because, you know, this is so out of character for both guys. I don't see either of those guys continuing this in a fashion of we see at Bowman Gray or we see other stuff where people are junking each other's stuff. You know, there was words, everybody gets emotional, but you're talking about Bobby McCarty who's a rough race car driver, but very, very respectful, who I don't see him doing anything out of character more than he's done, which is race people, maybe arguably a little too rough, but he's not a guy that goes out there and just usually dumps people. And Josh Berry, let's just be honest. I'm going to be honest, and I'm sorry, Josh, but I think Josh Berry's been a pushover most of his career. I think he's a great race car driver that gets pushed around too much and doesn't do anything about it. And when I saw that at Ace in that cars race that he – kind of pushed back. Yeah. I was proud of him as, as a, as a friend and somebody who's close here with junior motorsports. And I didn't think, you know, and I want your take on this, obviously as a car owner, you know, I, I know, you know, it hurts to have your car suspended, but you know, for me, it's like, what are they doing, man? They could have sold tickets and you're not talking about two hot heads. Why the hell suspend the guy? And, oh, and, and, a, and talk about that. Well, I, that's yeah. such a great point, Matthew. Um, the suspension. So Josh is right. suspended yeah. for a race. He has to, uh, you know, he has to miss this weekend's event at, at Hickory, a track that he runs really, really well at. Unreal. I didn't even think about it. So I assumed the suspension was coming. We had, really? me and 
Oh yeah, me and LW are already talking about drivers to put in the car. <laughs> all right, all right. So f- first of all, Dale, Matthew said that Josh has been a pushover. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you did not think that he would retaliate when when it happened. Uh, and is it because that he has been pushed around for the bulk of his career? I knew what well, Josh's past history was not to not to take that you know not to take aggressive action against his drivers that, that have done this to him in the past. And at this point in the race, he had had, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes to stew, think about it, you know, to think about whether he wanted to forfeit, basically forfeit his season. Because as soon as you do that, you not only have you lost the points because of the crash, because, you know, he's five laps down, it's off a points, points race at ace, but he's also potentially putting himself in a situation to be suspended, which he has. So that's basically – that's the end of the year for him. He's not got a shot of winning championship. That so was it, my next question. Is what were the consequences of the suspension in the grand scheme of things when it comes to the championships? You're saying it's over. Oh, it's over. So that's the other thing, too. Um, Josh Berry gets interviewed after the race, and they said, they, they said this, is this over? Is, is, are you, do you feel like things are, 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 are good between you and Bobby beyond this point, and he said, no, nope. he said that spin on the front straightaway was for tonight. I still owe him for last year. Ooh. And so Ooh. in Josh's mind, it's not over. And I Ooh. don't really know if I believe Bobby, if Bobby truly f- was conveying Matthew that, that he thinks it's over and that he doesn't plan on retaliating. I'm not sure that I believe that. Because I just know – I've watched these car tour races for long enough and watched Bobby race and know that he can't help himself when he gets into those situations uh, on those critical restarts. And, and I just don't – I don't – I'll believe it when I see it. And I want him to prove me wrong. I really do. And uh, I don't list – I do not dislike Bobby's style. All right? Because – I mean, you got to have guys that are aggressive. It ain't, it ain't, ain't going to be any fun to watch if you don't have guys out there willing to lean on each other. But it keeps happening to my car. So that's the only problem I have with it. Um, mm. Anyways. It seemed to me in, in, the, in the interview that Josh gave after the race that he already knew that he was going to be suspended. I don't know if he was told that. I don't know if he assumed it. My question, though, with the consequences being the championship, you wanted him to retaliate and stand up for himself. Yeah. If you would have known that he was going to be suspended and risk the championship, do you still feel that way? Would you have still felt that way? Good question. Um, yeah. You know, I feel like last year we got wrecked at Motor Mile. We, I mean, I'm, I, I know that it is a fair point to argue that that we didn't get wrecked or that you could, you could watch that run, that wreck at motor mile. You could watch that clip and you could defend either side. Mm. I got my opinion and it is that we got dumped at motor mile. We got used up. We had control of the race and he took that race away from Josh and didn't even give us the opportunity to, to run second or third. We ended up, up, you know, turned around. So we had to spend the rest of the year swallowing our pride because we still had a shot at the championship. We had to spend the rest of the year trying to, you know, trying to win, keep our nose clean. We couldn't handle Bobby. We couldn't deal with Bobby. We couldn't, we couldn't go dump Bobby. Uh, we had to keep focusing on the title. Mm-hmm. And that's not, as, that's not fun. That's not fun when you have to you – got, you got done wrong. And you got to ignore it, and because there's another, there's a prize that you have to focus on, or something else that's that's bigger, right? Um, it okay, fast. That's okay. You know, we didn't win a championship. Bobby won a championship, and we'll try again this year. Well, here we are, mm. early in the season, dumped, dumped, and spun around by Bobby, lost a lot of points. We're going to do what we did last year again. We're going to mm. swallow our pride and, and, and march on down the road to, to try to win a championship without taking care of this problem. Uh, and so 
I feel like it's just you can, you get pushed into a situation where you have to you have to for you know you have to say okay championship is just not important to me right now trying not to get wrecked by Bobby every every five races or every 10 races it's kind of like a bully you know like in school mm-hmm. like I got bullied as a kid Mike and we'll get to it is becoming yeah. that if you, you continue you, you gotta, to allow it and so I was pretty you know I don't think proud is the right word because what Josh did to inten- he intentionally crashed that guy and took that win you know took him out of the opportunity to win that race and that's nothing for me to be proud of um I hate that I hate that Josh had to do it, but it had to be done. It's just it's it's hard it's hard to articulate why that needed to happen, but it did. Mm.